A significant part of Western weapons to Ukraine come through this Polish airport. And there are said to be 10,000 NATO soldiers stationed in Jeshuv. This place is currently very important for us. The city took us in from the first day of the war and is helping us and our patients. The new situation has economically benefited the city, particularly hotels and restaurants such as this pizzeria, where U.S. President Joe Biden ate when he visited the troops. Before the war in Ukraine, the city had 200,000 inhabitants. Now there are also 10,000 soldiers and around 30,000 refugees from Ukraine. Sometimes you see more people on the street or in the bars, but they're not dangerous. Unfortunately, there's a war going on in their country, so we have to take them in. There are simply many more of us now. Maybe we're more famous in Europe than before, but otherwise everything is normal. I am in the Polish city of Jezhov and I'm not doing anything in my hotel so I decided to go outside to see what goes down in the town center and the most important thing is to spot some of the development and how these people live their life. One thing I've realized about this city is it is growing in a fast pace and so you can see that through the amount of mega structures being constructed. There are a lot of constructions going on in this city. And that's the first thing I've realized over here. I just love the look of this city. Um, as you can see, there's a river over there, which is really good. But when you look at the banks of it, it looks like it's not rained since we've been here. So it's a bit of a drought going on. Yeah, like, yeah, it's a canal. So what was the difference between a canal and a river? Is a canal... That's where the wrist, you see where the wrist... Ah! Like That's what we mean by canal. So if, oh, if okay. Turkey have and it channels to maybe a river yeah. or something. So would you say a canal is like um, a mega gutter? Yeah. Oh, all right. Where the waste or something. Oh, Some okay. What I use. All right. You learn every day. So I've been told that it's... It might not be a river, it's a canal that has been created to take waste into the main sewage. Uh, so yeah, you learn every day. But it looks a bit dry out here. As I mentioned, a lot of construction is going on. And one thing that Eastern Europeans are big on is these scooters. So scooters and bicycles, they are very big on that. One thing, I don't know, it's been embraced in, in Europe because in Estonia, in Finland, all the places that I've been, they are big on scooters. And I think it's good for the environment. Well, I've been here more than a week and I didn't know that they do this love padlock thing here too. Um, it is more common in, I think there's a bridge in Netherlands and maybe France. So basically you have two lovers uh, some of them has got names on it. So M and D. Um, so they come in, profess their love and then they close it. And apparently they, they'll throw the key into the canal and it's supposed to keep them together. I bet half of these relationships in nowadays that um, relationships don't last. I bet there are a lot of relationships that their keys are in this canal that are broken. Um, imagine you are married to someone who did this with a, a partner. Half of their love is in this canal. That explains why you, you argue a lot. <laughs> There's this massive building behind me. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's got these massive walls and majestic house in it. Um, my friends here thinks it might be the magistrates, but I'm sure I'll find someone to ask. Um, hopefully people will be friendly enough to tell me what building this is. Can I ask you a question? 
What is this building? Um, it's like a, yes, it's a oh, quad, yeah. but I heard that it's gonna change to a museum. Like oh, into a museum. Oh, all right, okay. But for now, it's like a magistrate court. Yeah, is yeah. It? Oh, all right, okay. All right, thank you very much. You too. So, um, I don't know if you heard it. I spoke to someone and they said it's a magistrate. It's like the court. But she thinks or she's been told that it's going to turn into a museum. Um, I don't know what type of museum that is going to be. But it looks like there's a historical significance to it. It looks massive. And over here too, they have uh, this, I normally call it lover's corner because it's good for like family and you and your loved ones coming to sit in a place like this. And just to cool down, they have these fountains that sometimes kids will be playing in those fountains. And it's another thing that you see in Eastern European countries as well um, and I think it's nice it, it gives you a good vibe and it gives you a chilled environment where you can just come and distress de I like it talking about the magistrate that might turn into a museum the architecture in, in this country is also good or in this city i've never been to any city in poland apart from this city um, so that is my perception about polish cities i might be wrong if anybody has been to warsaw or any other um, cities in poland please let me know but i love the medieval style of architecture over here and uh, you can see there's a lot of um, history and significance, historical significance in the buildings in Jezhov over here, like this one. This one is definitely some sort of uh, a museum. Um, this will tell you what it is, but unfortunately, I don't understand any of the I don't understand any of it. Um, I'm not sure what building this is. There is an inscription on the wall, but I don't understand it. But it doesn't look like it's something with a less significance. It looks pretty important. Znuję się między myślami o przeszłości Mijam ciemny zakam, marki by nie drażnić rano Mnie bez zmian, chociaż ciągle jestem zawiedziony Bierze się ze sobą, palę stare mosty This young yeah. guy in white shirt Okay, his first concert All right, you know? okay uh, Is he That's big all. in Poland? Yeah, he's yeah. big. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, but he's <laughs> up and coming. First, first time on stage. Oh, all right. So he yeah. is that like um, a rehearsal? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. When is the when is the concert? Uh, at 19. Yeah. 19. 7, 7, 7 p.m. Yeah. Oh, 7 p.m. today. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll pass by. Do I have to pay? No, no, all right. no. Just come. All right. Yeah. Okay. No, that's nice. I like the music. Yeah. Uh, it's the music. Are you are you the producer? No, no, this this young guy is producer. Oh, he's the producer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for yeah, talking to no me. No problem. It's all my tracks. Twenty years, she's a young lady. Complex in her eyes. So basically this is it's like a fast food place where you can sit. To be fair, I thought to be honest, I thought um, they were selling the chairs, not knowing that's what people sit on. I like the colours and I like the design of the chair. Um, as you heard over there, it's a young artist coming up and this is his first ever concert, which is happening this evening at seven and he's rehearsing for it. And as you know, if you followed me for a long time, you know that creativity is very important to me so yeah so when i see a young person trying to craft a niche for themselves in the creative industry um it makes me happy i wish him all the best
I was told that you are a musician. Yeah. Yeah, and you have a concert today. Yeah, you um, want to come? Yeah, yeah, we we'll invite all of you guys. We start yeah, yeah. at 7 p.m. So how long is it going to be? Miho. Yeah, no oh, wow. Miho. That's right. So um, yeah. the the warm up will take like one hour. Then I'll do my gig. It, it will be like half an hour or something. Uh, is then, it just you or other musicians? Yeah, it's me and the guy that was playing music. He he gonna play his bit. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, and but uh, it's gonna be like you know. Uh, my part will take like 30 minutes or something yeah and then uh, there is this other playlist with no rap all right so if you want to just come chill definitely definitely we'll, yeah we'll pass by so do you live in this city yeah yeah I live yeah where you born here i was born here but uh, now i live in uh, krakow all right okay where are you in krakow yeah. no we live here no here yeah. That's a big city. I like it's the it's the second biggest city uh, by Warsaw and Poland. Oh, okay. Right. Krakow. Okay. okay. It's very near. Yeah, y'all guys should see it. All right. Uh, yeah, how, 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 how far is it? Krakow. Uh, 158 kilometers. You can uh, get there by rail easily. Ah, okay. Like every hour there is a train. So. All right. So how long have you been doing rap? <laughs> Since I was in middle school. Um, it's gonna be like six years or something. Six years. So even what? more. Wait, what did eight they, years, man. Yeah, maybe Time eight years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, eight years. So what, what inspired you to be a rapper? Uh, I don't know. I've always loved music. And I when I was a kid, I sang in my mother's um, choir. All right. Like re religious music and stuff. All right. And then I've always listened to rap. Then I found some new inspiration. And, um, you know, it's given me the, the boost. It's given me... Yeah. Yeah, it makes me look happy. And another thing I've realized about, well, my experience in Poland is I think they are religious or they were religious, but there's a lot of cathedrals and even people build houses and then in front of it, they will build like um, a statue of the crucifix with Jesus Christ on it. So it's something over here like you cannot drive into another city without like every hundred meters seeing a cathedral or seeing a crucifix on the road so that's another thing i've realized and another thing too is the art artistic nature of this city that i am in um, it's also something that i've realized that like you see metal statues and you know there was this one that we spotted i'm not sure i think it's in front of us uh, it's like loads of metal scrap that has been turned into a bed, which I think is cool. Hopefully I get a chance to show you. Uh, what does it say over here? So that's what I mean, the metal scrap being made into, I think it's a falcon without a head. So you can get, as somebody told me this was a clutch, you can get spanners over here, you can get horseshoes, you can get drills and engine parts. The way she just went, yo! <laughs> so the phenomenon of the black race over here is very intriguing. So you get some people who are very, like you go into shops and you know the security man or the store assistant will stop doing whatever they are doing and they will come and check on you. And then you get some people who are very happy to speak to you. And then some people just don't get who you are and they look at you with curiosity and it's so intriguing over here. Rozpoczęcia rzeszowskich seniorariów. Przed wami cały tydzień od dnia dzisiejszego wiele imprez, spotkań, wystaw, oczywiście popęcówek. 
panu prezydentowi, pani prezydent w imieniu Rzeszowskiej Rady Seniorów powiedzieć, że to dla nas ogromna... I mentioned this in my nighttime video, that um, basically there are pubs, bars and restaurants all around here and they've got these tents around here where you can get served and then you come into the courtyard you take in the atmosphere and then you enjoy your your meal or your drink or something there's a concert going on behind me um, I don't really know if it's a concert, but it's got a lot of senior citizens over there. So I don't know if it's something that they are doing it to honor the old people. This is a day in Polish city of Zezov. I think there's more to this city. Um, but most of the things have been written in Polish and I cannot read. But looking at things and looking at some of the buildings, I think there is a, a historical significance to this city. But I was able to give what I can see. Um, if any of you know much about this city, please let me know. I'm happy to learn from you as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.